Hi everybody, uh, time for another hymn. We're on hymn 7. This is a short one. And uh, I'm just going to bow my head and pray. Um, Father Elohim, Yahuwah, in the name of your son, Yahushua HaMashiach, I just pray this could be a blessing and an edification for those listening. And um, a seed of faith, a seed of strength, and a seed of life in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Amen. Okay, so pretty much if you know your book of Psalms, um, you'll know this hymn. And again, I can't prove it, guys, but I just feel like I know it in my spirit that generally speaking, these are lost Psalms of David. <clears throat> I hear David's voice in these. And um, this hymn in particular it will be in the scripture box below. It's not very long. Um, echoes what we see. Echoes the same prophecies we see in the Psalms over and over and over again. <clears throat> so again, these aren't just the hymns of the Essenes. These are inspired Psalms from David or Solomon. Likely David, I believe. But these can barely, very easily be canonized. I don't see why they shouldn't be. Um just the fact that they're lost and I believe one day uh, they will be um, all the texts will be recompensed uh, that's prophesied in Enoch actually all right so let's do this um, hymn 7 let's get to it I thank you O Lord for you have placed my soul in the bundle of the living and have hedged me about against all the snares of the pit violent men have sought after my life because I have clung to your covenant for they, an assembly of deceit, a horde of Beliar. This is a name for Satan that you find. Um, it varies. Belizebub, Beliar, in this case, Belial, I don't know. But um, these names vary in all different types of texts. But it's some type of hierarchy in uh, Satan's kingdom. <clears throat> it's very common. Um, this is not a weird anomaly um, to cause any... You know, discrediting in the text. This is very common. So, okay. For they, an assembly of deceit, a horde of Beliar, know not that my stand is maintained by you, and that in your mercy you will save my soul, since my steps proceed from you. From you it is that they assail my life, that you may be glorified by the judgment of the wicked, and manifest your might through me in the presence of the sons of men. For it is by your mercy that I stand. And I said, Mighty men have pitched their camps against me, and have encompassed me with all their weapons of war. They have let fly arrows, against which there is no cure. And the flame of their javelins is like a consuming fire among trees. The clamor of their shouting is like the bellowing of many waters, like a storm of destruction devouring a multitude of men. As their waves rear up, naught and vanities spout upward to the stars. But although my heart melted like water, my soul had held fast to your covenant, and the net which they spread for me has taken their own foot. They have themselves fallen into the snares which they have laid for my life. But my foot remains upon level ground. Apart from their assembly, I will bless thy name. Now, we have time here. Let's put this into context. Number one, right here, this last verse, right? We should be thinking of Psalm 91. For the angels will take charge over you unless you dash your foot against the stone. This is likely talking about the same thing. And, and we're living in an age where um, man-made natural disasters are the weapon of choice, right? Okay, if they're desperate, if the powers that be are desperate and... Um, you know, want to pull one, they'll just flood everybody or make a, an earthquake and just, you know, and just gaslight everybody. And Oh, no. And clearly this stuff is in the Bible. Uh, even, you know, it's prophesied there's going to be a big flood and it's going to be a man-made flood, you know. And we're in that age now. Man-made natural disasters are, are the weapon of choice. Um, so it's interesting. This just, just emulates everything we read in the Psalms. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious this is probably a lost psalm of David. All right, guys.
That's all I got for now. God bless you.